Hello everyone and welcome to our diocesan all age service on this Sunday after Christmas. It's great to have you with us and thank you to all those who have put this service together. I hope that you've had a happy Christmas so far, although I imagine it's been a rather strange one as well, like no other Christmas that you've ever known. And because of that, I thought it would be good to begin our service with a reminder that whatever the joys and the struggles that we go through, Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. So as I say this little piece of liturgy, would you repeat after each of the phrases, Emmanuel, God is with us. Even if we cannot gather in person, Emmanuel, God is with us. Even if some Christmas traditions have had to go, Emmanuel, God is with us. Even if we might not get to hug family or friends, Emmanuel, God is with us. Even if we cannot sing carols beside each other, Emmanuel, God is with us. Even if Christmas cheer is harder this year, Emmanuel, God is with us. And so let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in worship and wonder. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour, our Emmanuel, our with us God. Amen. So let's now travel to Farnham and St Thomas on the Bourne as we join in the first carol of Maiden Most Gentle. Fleet. My name's Emma and this is my friend Lamsey. Whoa, Lamsey, what are you wearing? You're wearing your angel costume. Yes, you do look very, very beautiful. But why are you wearing that today? 
You're wearing it because you don't think that lambs are very important in the Christmas story, so you'd rather be an angel. Oh, Lancy, that's such a shame because did you know that actually lambs are very special in the Christmas story? Yes, because a lamb is the very first gift that the baby Jesus gets brought by the shepherds. So you really are very special in the Christmas story. <laughs> But do you know what, Lamsey? Even if you weren't in the Christmas story at all, it really doesn't matter because everybody is special to God, whether you're small or big or sparkly or a lamb or a human. <laughs> it doesn't matter because God loves us all very, very much. <laughs> oh, you like that, do you? <laughs> That's good. Well, I've got a special reading today from the Bible all about those shepherds who took the lamb to visit the baby Jesus. Would you like to hear it, Lamsey? Okay, will you settle down there nicely and listen carefully? This reading is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 15 to 21. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus, the name that the angel had given him before he was conceived. This is the word of the Lord. Wow, did you like that, Lamsey? I liked hearing about how the shepherds who'd been to see the baby Jesus had to come home and glorify and praise his name. Oh, that must have been amazing, mustn't it? Do you know what? I feel a bit like glorifying and praising his name now, don't you, Lamsey? And I bet that everybody who has heard the Christmas message feels exactly the same way. So let's join together and praise God wherever we are. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him high above the earth. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his heavenly hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him, Mara, heaven, Dad. Praise him, highest heavens, and you waters above the sky. Let them praise the Lord, because they were created by his command. He set them in place forever and ever. He made a law that will never end. Praise the Lord under us. Praise the Lord the last day hours and all of the oceans. Praise him, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, and stormy winds that obey him. Praise him, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedar trees. Praise him, you wild animals, and, and all cattle, small crawling animals and birds. Praise him, you kings of the earth. Ow. 
all nations. This is and the rulers of the earth. Pray ten, you young men and women, all people and children. Praise the Lord. He alone is great. He is greater than heaven and earth. God has given his again. He should be praised by all who belong to him. He should be praised by the Israelites, the people closest to his heart. Hello, so we're going to do some worshipping together now and we're going to do a Christmas action song. Now, in the Bible bit that we heard today, the shepherds went and saw baby Jesus and afterwards they told loads of people about what they saw. And in verse 18 it says, And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. So we're going to do a song which is about how amazed people were that God sent Jesus into the world. And so it has got some actions, so I thought I'd go through what the chorus is so we know what we're doing beforehand. So, you have to do hands by your ears for they heard the angels singing, and then we're going to praise with our arms for hallelujah, and then do let the earth receive her king. I know that love has come. We're going to put our hands on our hearts. Sing it out. Can you say that as loud as you can? Um, and then Jesus Christ is born. We're going to rock baby Jesus. So let's do some actions now together as we worship to the song, Oh What a Glorious Night. Shepherds came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. Here lay the Savior inside a manger. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! I hear the angels sing.
a star shining in the sky. Below in Bethlehem, the king is sleeping. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! So now we come to our sermon slot, but rather than preaching at you, I thought that we might go on a Jesus hunt together. And there are just two instructions for the Jesus hunt. The first is that we're going to try and keep a rhythm going by tapping on our legs, if we're able to do that, like this. And the second is that whatever I say, I'd like you to repeat. So if I say, we're going on a Jesus hunt, you respond, we're going on a Jesus hunt. If I scratch my nose, you scratch your nose, and so on. I hope that that's nice and clear. And so we're going to begin by joining the shepherds that we've just heard about in our reading, who themselves went on a Jesus hunt. Let's get going with the rhythm. We're going on a Jesus hunt. We really need to find him. We've just seen loads of angels. We were scared. We've left all our sheep behind, with Gabriel as their minder. Meh, meh. They'll be all right till morning. We've just come to the city gate, the gate into Bethlehem. Can't go over it, can't go under it. Better go through it. Creak. We're running to the stable. We very nearly got there. Knock, knock, who's there? We're just a bunch of shepherds. And then the door is opened. We're peering at the baby. Seek, seek, find, find. Knock, knock, open door. We bow down and worship. Well done. Well, now we come to Jesus' next visitors, the wise men. Here's one of them. We're going on a Jesus hunt. We'd really like to find him. We're following a whopping star. We're quite scared. We've left behind our palaces and lying on our sunbeds. We wonder what the future holds. But something's going on. We're coming to the desert. The temperature's outrageous. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Better go through it. Phew, phew, phew. We're walking to the stable. A dignified procession. Knock, knock, who's there? Exotic Eastern visitors. And then the door is opened. We're peering at the baby. Seek, seek, find, find. Knock, knock, open door. We bow down and worship. And now let's move on to the landlords of Bethlehem who closed their doors to Mary and Joseph, who had no room for Jesus. They probably weren't such a bad bunch really, but here's one of them. Going on a Jesus hunt? You really must be joking. He's the Messiah? 
We're so scared. Leave behind our warm homes with Strictly on the telly to go and see a baby. Sorry, mate, no. I used to be religious. I had a little holy phase. Couldn't get over it. Couldn't get under it. Just got through it. Amen. Now I keep my distance. Keep right off the subject. Sophisticated, that's me. Religion's just for losers. Don't seek, don't find. Don't knock, close door. I really like it that way. Jesus had some other less welcome visitors at Christmas time. Soldiers sent by King Herod to try and get rid of him. We don't often hear their story, but here's one of them. We're going on a Jesus hunt. We're going to find the big one. I know he's just a baby. So we're not scared. There's clouds over Bethlehem. A boot of a rainstorm. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Better go through it. We got into the city. We're searching in the stable. An awful lot of cow poo. But he's not there. Kill, kill, don't find. Kill, kill, door closed. Orders is orders. So what about us this Christmas time? Perhaps the message for us goes something like this. It really doesn't matter if we run to the stable or we make our way slowly in the dignified procession. The only thing that matters is seeking after Jesus, not closing up our doors or trying just to silence him. At some stage or other, we have to make our minds up. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Better face up to it. Ask, ask, seek, seek. Seek, seek, find, find. Knock, knock, open door. We bow down and worship. Ask, said Jesus, and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Well, thank you, Bishop Andrew. We're now going to pray. We're going to talk to God. My name's Emma. My name is Edmund. And we're going to lead you in some prayers today involving some actions. The first action we're going to do is thank you. Thank you to God, like this. So in our reading, we read how the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God. I want you to think back over your last couple of days. What can you glorify God for? What can you thank him for? Just have a think now. And then we're gonna say, thank you God, 
for all that we've seen and heard. Amen. The next action we're going to use is the action for sorry. This is the action for sorry. We're also told in the reading that the shepherds spread the word about Jesus. And sometimes we're not very good at spreading the words about Jesus through our actions or through our words. Sometimes we do things that are a bit mean or a bit selfish. Sometimes we don't take opportunities to tell other about, others about Jesus or show others his love. So we're going to pray and say sorry for those things now. Have a little think. Is there anything this week that you would want to say sorry for? Sorry God for when we have not spread the word through our words and actions. Amen. Finally in our reading, we heard how Mary treasured these things in our heart. So we're going to put our hands over our hearts. And I wonder what's in your heart today. Maybe it's a person, someone you're concerned about, someone you love, someone you're really missing. Maybe it's a situation you're worried about, something where you really want God to change something. Just have a think for a moment, what's in your heart today? Then we're going to take those things and we're going to offer them up to God. Father God, we offer you all those things that are in our hearts today. We pray that you would take them, look after them, and that you would give us your peace. Amen. And we're going to finish our prayers with the prayer that Jesus taught us. And we're going to do the actions that many messy churches around the country and around the world do with this prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
And so we come to the end of our service and thank you once again to all those who've taken part in it and especially to Emma Coy, who's masterminded it for us. And we're going to close our service with a prayer and a blessing. The prayer may well be known to you and please do pray it with me if that's true. Let's bow our heads to pray. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and upon all whom you love and remain with you in this Christmas season and always. Amen. God bless you all.